This is that right lung from that other video. One, two, three. Where is it? Hiding. There it is. Hiding. Don't hide. Um, I've got green ink on it. This kind of helped when we were looking under the scope. And it helps us to see where the margin is. Not margin, but the pleural surface. You don't really need it though, because we can do special stains. One is specially called an elastin stain. Anyways, never mind that. The point is, I've got green ink on this lung. This patient has a 50 pack year history of smoking. I don't know what that means. I just know it's a lot of smoking. What I'm about to do is cut into this and show you something big. It should be about a six centimeter mass. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this cut right here. And I'm gonna show you here. It's all tumor. Red is hemorrhage. Yellow is tumor, and then some cavity. See those little cavities? That's some necrosis. Biopsy has shown this to be a poorly differentiated tumor. It's an adenocarcinoma. It's the most common cancer of the lung, most commonly seen in smokers. See, this is bad lung with tumor. I'm going to go down. We're still in the upper lobe. I'm going to go down to a normal section and cut that for you. This is what normal lung should look like. See how it's beefy red? That's normal. And then you go up here, that's tumor. And it's abutting the pleura. So there might be some what we call pleural, pleural invasion. And if there is, it upstages the patient. Patient's already upstaged though because there's multiple modules of tumor within the same lung. It's a bad prognosis.